first starter for Minneapolis is uh, Darby Massner. Out uh, for Highland, number 10, sophomore guard, Cheyenne Adamson. Next out for Minneapolis is uh, junior Ashley Hedges. Out for Highland, slapping hands with the coach, number 20, Kelsey Hora. Then uh, will be Andrea Larson, senior post player for Minneapolis. Next out for Highland, number 24, Bridget Murphy. And uh, next starter for Minneapolis is freshman Mackenzie Rogers. Chelsea Lampy, number 30, our point guard for the Highland Huskies, shakes hands with the Minneapolis players and coaches. Next for the Bullets will be number 33. That's Heidi Hilliard, senior forward. Last out for Highland, number 50, Sam Dutton. Shaking hands with the referees as we get ready for the opening tip-off here. You're listening to the Husky Cast, Dog Cast with Bert and Kent here from Highland High School. The ball girl rolls the balls off of the court as we get ready here for the opening tip-off. The referee has the ball in his hands. He's about ready to go, just waiting for the teams to make their final adjustments here before tip-off. Should be a good game, Kent. Should be. Should be a good good, good ball game, good test for both teams. It's like uh, Mediapolis going to have a little height advantage out there with um, Hilliard and Larson, but... Um, you mentioned the quickness that Highland has, so that's going to be uh, probably an interesting matchup. You were reading my mind when you said the height advantage. I was thinking the exact same thing. And there's the tip is controlled by the Bullets. Hilliard off the hedges. She's going to launch the three and goes in. Lampy throws the ball into Adamson. Back up top to Lampy. Top of the key. Back over to Adamson. Quick steal there by Minneapolis goes nowhere. Back out to Chelsea Hora. Back up top to Lampy. Lampy's going to reset the play, drive down the middle of the lane. Gonna, ball's going to be stolen by Minneapolis. So uh, Rogers on the steal. She's going to take it to the glass, misses the shot, but it's rebounded by Masner, and she misses the shot. Highland comes out with the basketball. Murphy up court strong. She's going to have the ball stripped away, picked up by Hora, and she's going to drop a little eight footer in right at the left of baseline. Minneapolis back down, working against uh, Highland's defense inside to Larson, and she's open and scores. Not very fair there, Kent. That's uh, that's something that the Bullets really look for, is to get that ball inside to her. Like I said, she's the leading scorer of all time at Minneapolis in 5-on-5 five -five, uh, basketball. She was down low against Hora. Now we have Adamson trying to throw a ball over the top, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Minneapolis. Yeah, we had about a 5-foot-2 Hora against a 6-foot-1 that's, player from me, that's Heidi, Heidi Hilliard night. Like I said, I call her mayhem because <laughs> that's what she creates on the defensive end of the floor. Foul there by Mediapolis, reaching foul. It was called on Hedges, I believe. That would be the first foul of the game. Adamson to throw it into Lampy, left hand side of the arch, dribbles midway court. Back across the top of the key, back over to her right. Dribble, dribble drives in and is blocked there by Mediapolis. Rogers on the block and she outlet it to Hilliard and then there's a foul call that's on uh, number Number 30, 30 Lampy. She went aggressively after that outlet pass and looks like Highland's gonna put on some full court pressure here. Bridget Murphy putting some pressure on the ball. It just gets trapped on the sideline, but gets it out of there to Hilliard. Over to Rogers. She's going to launch the three, and that one's long. But Hilliard's there for the rebound and then throws it away. Bridget Murphy picked a loose ball up there at the bottom of the key for Highland. Up comes the, up come the court is Cheyenne Adamson down low to Lampy. And it's going to go off the hands of Bridget Murphy. It's going to be a Mediapolis ball. And once again, there's uh, Heidi Hilliard getting a hand on the ball. It just seems like uh, not only is she tall, but just really long arms and good quickness, and um, she really creates trouble on the defensive end. Rogers has the ball. She's looking at the basket, doesn't shoot, goes to Hilliard inside to Larson. She's double teamed. 
and she's going to be called for the travel there as she uh, pivoted both ways and uh, picked up the turnover. The outside referee called that ball, that foul. Kent, the underneath ref, didn't have one word to say about it. So Meepo's leading 5-2 to two here with 5.36 left in the first. Murphy drives down the lane, loses the handle on the ball, and they're going to call a jump ball. So it's been just a little bit sloppy here in the early going with several turnovers, but uh, that's probably a little bit nerves and just uh, got to get that all worked out here. Here's a lob pass to Lampy down over to Bridget Murphy, and they're going to call a jump ball. And McKenzie Rogers in there tying up for the Bullets. Uh, McKenzie's uh, freshman had a big year so far, especially on the defensive end and handling the basketball. Mediapolis up court, pressure by Highland. Hilliard down underneath, feed to Larson for the basket. 5.15 left here in the first quarter. Your score, Highland 2, Mediapolis 7. Reaching foul on Mediapolis. The bullets go about uh, seven deep, and after that, uh, it's a lot more inexperience. So foul trouble is one of the things they, they really have to avoid. Speaking of fouls, the guests, Mediapolis has two fouls. Highland has one. Here's Hora driving down the middle lane, loses handle on the ball, picked up by Chelsea, or excuse me, Cheyenne Adamson, and she's going to throw it away. Nope, they're going to oh, say fun. tip by Mediapolis. Highland's going to retain possession. Cheyenne Adamson steps in front of the press, the scorer's table to throw it into Chelsea Lampy. Lampy, top of the key, setting up the offense. Over to Hoare to her left. Cross court pass to Bridget Murphy. She's going to shoot a three off the iron, no good. Goes long to Dutton with a rebound. Over to Murphy, and that's blocked. Now we got a scramble for a loose ball, and Mediapolis comes up with it. Hedges has the ball quickly down to Rogers. She pulls it in the corner to Massner, squares up, shoots the three. Good. Good shooting three point team, it looks like here, Kent. Yeah, and, and Darby Massner, the number three, is really deadly. Lampy with a long throw down the middle of the court underneath the basket. Lampy couldn't get a handle on it. It goes out of bounds, and it's going to be Mediapolis ball. The Bullets are leading 10 to 2 here with 4.25 to go in the first quarter. Island showing pressure. Rogers breaks the press, now gets it out front to Hilliard, feeds it inside to Larson, goes up, shoots. That one comes up short, and Highland comes out with a rebound. Lampy across half court, down low to Bridget Murphy, back down low to. That's Lampy going up for a little bunny shot and gets fouled. She's going to shoot two. 4.05 left here in the first quarter. Your score, Highland two, Mediapolis. 10, you're listening to Burt and Kent on the Husky Cast, Dogcast. Glad you're listening along with us tonight. Lampy misses her first shot. Free throws are going to be key in a game like this, Kent. Yeah, both teams uh, look like they come in with a pretty good uh, free throw shooting average, so you'd expect them to go in, and she hits that second one. Highland showing pressure again. Well, let's break the press, but then uh, turn it over down under the basket and attempt to feed it into Larson. Lampy across half court. Excuse me, Ken, didn't mean to step on you there. Lampy no across problem. half court, shot there by one of the Huskies, goes out of, doesn't go out of bounds, but Mediapolis comes up with it. Bullets down quickly, and there's Larson, puts it on the floor. She was outside, out kind of where she doesn't usually play. Rogers gets the rebound and shoots the three, and the bullets look like they're hot from outside tonight. Lampy across half court, throws a wild pass to Hoare, who can't get quite get a handle on it. Well, it looks like uh, Highlands wanted to play an up-tempo game here as uh, they're, uh, they've really pushed the action. Springer, Murphy, Lampy, Adamson, all in for Highland at the moment. Minneapolis has the ball, and Hedges going to put up a three, and that one bounces off the back of the rim, and coming out of there is Highland with the rebound. That was a rebound by Lampy. She's across half court, top of the key, sets the offense, throws over to her right to Bridget Murphy. Now back to Lampy down low, a little give and go pass, and it goes in. 5 to 13, your score, 2.53 left here in the sec first quarter. 
Nice power move by Lampy inside there. Bullets come back and try to counter with Larson. No good, but rebounded by Hilliard and up and in. And again, there was Hilliard's athleticism as she uh, leaped high, got the rebound, and put it back in, and there's going to be a timeout on the floor. 2.40 here left in the first quarter. Your score, 5-15. to 15. Highland calls a 30-second timeout. Definitely Minneapolis's height being a factor in this first half of this quarter, Kent. Yeah, they've taken advantage of that, and then uh, the three-point shooting has uh, forced uh, Highland to come out a little bit. You can't just uh, sag back in there when they're hitting the threes, and they've hit uh, three of those, I believe, so far. And that uh, has forced them to come out, and I see we've got a couple substitutions here. Larson sets down and is uh, replaced by Ali Master. And also into the lineup is Abby Eberhardt. Lampy cross court. And we're going to get a foul call here on Hilliard. Lampy trying to get it into Dutton. Hilliard just came over the top of her. In the corner is a shot by Lampy. Goes long. And Cheyenne Adams is right there at the bottom of the key to pick it up. Highland showing a little bit of pressure here. Hilliard brings it across on the dribble. Now feeds it to Darby Masner, throws it over to Mackenzie Rogers. Back to Darby Masner, squares up for the three and buries it. And she is the school record holder for three-point baskets. Lampy gives one to Murphy. Long three-pointer air balls it on the other side of the court. And here comes Mediapolis. Masner with the rebound, clears it out to Hilliard. She's going to take it to the glass, puts up a little short jumper, but it's no good. A lot of Highland girls standing around there looking at that rebound, but one of them came around with it. Here's Murphy trying to do the wraparound, no good. Allie good. Masner with the rebound. Up to Darby Masner. Back out to McKenzie Rogers on the point against the Highland zone. Darby Masner takes it baseline. Throws to Alley, and we're going to have a traveling call against Darby. Kelsey Hora in now for Bridget Murphy. We have Lampy, Dutton, Adamson. All on the court for the Huskies. Over to Horsa, Hora. Back out to Lampy, top of the key, three-point shot. Back off the iron, rebounded by Mediapolis. Larson back in there, grabbed that rebound. She's in for Hilliard, giving Hilliard a break. Mackenzie Rogers puts up the long three and buries it, and the bullets are hot tonight from outside. 7-21, to 21, your score at the moment. About 50 seconds left here to go in the fourth quarter, first quarter. Cross court back over to Abson. Now this is shot by Highland, no good. Rebounded by Dutton, back over to Hora in the land of the Giants, and Dutton's shot is going to be blocked by Mediapolis. Larson on the block there. Mackenzie Rogers comes out and let's see, uh, returning to the lineup is Hedges for the Bullets. Lampy up top, loses the ball, Hora catches it, shot blocked. Rebounded by Kelsey Craig, and then Highland comes, or excuse me, Mediapolis comes up with it. We're going to have a foul, excuse me, a traveling. Want to get a shout out to a few friend of mine that are listening tonight? What? I've been deer hunting all night, all week long, Kent, and uh, I told the boys down at the shop to uh, listen to the Husky cast. So they sent me an email there, and I appreciate that. We're all down at Jack's Rack Shack and Chop Shop. Mediapolis with the ball, goes in down low. And uh, that was the Larson trying to shoot there, and she's fouled on the play. <laughs> yeah, she was fouled there by number 12, Katie Springer. So Larson will go to the free throw line. I believe it's the first free throws of the game here for the Bullets. And she buries that one. Pretty sound team here at Mediapolis, Kent. Yeah, they're uh, they're pretty talented. I um, probably one of the more talented, probably the most talented five-on-five team we've had at Mediapolis. Lampy across half court. She backs up top of the key. 
sets the offense. Kelsey Craig in now. She's working hard down low, trying to get a positioning on number 21 in Minneapolis. Now Lampy's going to be tied up at the top of the key. They're going to call a foul on number 11 of Minneapolis. Ashley Hedges whistled for the foul there as they attempted to double team Lampy and got called for reaching in. Coming into the lineup for the uh, Bullets is Haley T to take Hedges' place here for the last 2.3 seconds of the first quarter. Springer inbounds the ball. Down low to Kelsey Craig, little bank shot, no good. Rebounded by Sam Dutton as the uh, first quarter expires. Your score at the moment, Highland 20, or excuse me, Minneapolis 23, Highland 7. Well, they got a quick time here. Kent, I'm going to read down our list of sponsors since I did not get a chance to do it. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors for what they do to bring this broadcast available to everybody. Todd Hahn Construction, he is an award-winning builder that has been building quality custom homes for over 21 years. For all of your broadcasting needs, contact Todd Hahn Construction. McCready Ruth Construction, Woman Commercial Construction, energy efficient options, remodels or additions. McCready Ruth Construction is proud to support Highland. Kruger Auto Sales, stop in and see why we invite you to stop in and shop and compare. Eastern Iowa Geothermal, a local company specializing in geothermal loop installation, water well services, and septic installations. Riverside Travel Mart, stop in for snacks and refreshments before and after the game. We're proud to support Husky Sports. Farmers Co-op, come in for all of your feed, grain, agronomy, and seed needs from Vision Ag and Farmers Co-op in Ainsworth. We're getting ready here to tip off the second quarter. I'll get through with these list of sponsors here in a little bit. You're listening to Bert and Kent on the Husky Cast and Dog Cast as Lampy brings it across half court. Sets up the offense. Bullets playing that matchup zone. That's what they've played all year. Lampy, top of the key. Back over to Springer, or excuse me, Murphy, down low to Lampy. Little hook shot, no good. Shot there by Cheyenne Anderson is blocked, and I think it's going to go off of Dutton. Yeah, the uh, Highlands doing a good job getting the ball inside, but uh, there's a lot of size in there when they get it in there, and, and Highlands done a good job on the offensive glass here too. That's uh, bullets. If they're going to have to clean that up a little bit because they've given up several offensive rebounds. Master open from a shot from the corner. This one's no good, but there's Hilliard to clean it up and puts it up left-handed, doesn't go in. Rebounded by Dutton, Lampy across half court. Right side of the arc. Dribbles, backs it up. Center of the court now, calling out the plays. Down low to Cheyenne Adamson, a little 14-footer, and she drops that one in. Nine to 23, your score. Piling down by about 14 or 15 right here at the moment. Massner has the ball out on the wing. Looks for Larson inside. Not there as there's a double team. So Massner tries to bring it out front. Now passes it into Larson. Kicks it back out to Hedges. Open for the three. That one's way off the mark. Saved by Massner. Back out to Hilliard. So the bullets reset over to Massner in the corner. Looks inside. Not there. Comes over to Rogers on the left side. She's being harassed out there, but now gets rid of the ball over two hedges. Still over on the left side. Now to Hilliard at the top of the key. Rogers in the corner goes into Larson. Shot is no good. Good defense there by Dutton. Just kept her hands straight up in the air. Here comes du Lampy across half court. Picks up her dribble over to Hora. Dribbles down through the lane. Now down low to Adamson. Step back shot and drops it. 12 footer by Adamson. And a good job that time by the Huskies moving the basketball around, getting a wide open look down there. They're attacking the uh, along the baseline here against the Minneapolis matchup zone. Yeah, we have a couple of girls that like that baseline shot, and Adamson is definitely one of them. Adamson and Hora both like that baseline shot. Hedges brings the ball up against some pressure. Now off to Hilliard, over to Rogers, and the ball is kicked, so Minneapolis will take it out on the side. 5.52 left here in the second period. Your score, Highland 11. The Bulldogs, the Bullets 23 here at Highland High School. Master in the corner, goes inside to Larson. Turns to turn around jumper, is no good. And rebounded out of there by Highland. 
That's Bridget Murphy. Here comes Lampy across half court. Dribbles down the middle of the lane. That's going to be blocked there by number 21 for Minneapolis. And they're going to call her with the body check. I think that's the uh, second foul now on Larson. That would be big here with uh, 537 left in the first half. And that is her second foul. But Coach Rogers looks like he's going to leave her in. Lampy at the line, going to shoot two. 537 here in the second quarter, 11 to 23 your score. Lampy, her first shot is no good. She'll get one more chance to redeem herself here. 71% free throw shooter on the season. Puts it up and that one's no good. She's missed three out of four tonight. And that's, that's hurt a little bit. Larson rebounds, brings it out to Hedges. Hedges up the court, Hilliard down on the wing. Cross court to Rogers, quickly back out to Hedges. She penetrates, goes to the basket, can't get it to go. And it's rebounded again by Highland. Cheyenne Adamson with the rebound. Here's Lampy across half court. Top of the key, sets the offense up. Throws the ball at Adamson, and Adamson wasn't quite ready for it, and stolen by Mediapolis. And Rogers scores at the other end. Lampy with the ball back across half court again. We'll try this again. Setting up the offense. Lampy down low, throws an errant pass to Adamson and picked off there by that's Hilliard again on that, and she gets it down underneath to Rogers, who misses that shot. And here comes Highland on the breakaway. Adamson on the breakaway. She's going to take it all away by herself, and it's not going to roll. Rebounded by Hedges. Good opportunity there for Highland to score with a two-on-one break, but couldn't get the shot to go down. Massner over to Hedges. She's open for the three and launches it, and it's kind of an air ball. Goes out of bound. Massner tried to save it, but couldn't. Springer and Klebe now in for Highland as Murphy and Adamson come out on the court for Highland. Hora, Springer, Lampy, Dutton, and Klebe. Lady Apple says the starter's in, except now Allie Massner has replaced Hedges. 11 to 25, your score. Lampy across court. Back over to Klebe, back up top to Lampy. Dutton working for position down low, not getting it, and now she's got it. Turns around, gives it back to Lampy. Lampy a little, little move down the middle and no good. Rebounded by Mediapolis. Larson gets it, fires outside and quickly down to Ali Master, misses the shot. Rebounded by, oh, excuse me, rebounded by Dutton. Lampy comes all the way down court with it and this is her shot, and they're going to give it to Mediapolis. Quite a little like. bit of contact on that one, and no call. <laughs> I, was, I paused and was waiting there. I thought maybe we were going to have a yeah, whistle. I, I did, too. Uh, Rogers misses a three-pointer, and here comes Highland again on the break, and nice defense there by Hilliard. Got back because Highland had the advantage again as they are really getting the ball up the floor quickly, quickly. <laughs> that was Lampy headed for Hora just off her fingertips, and it went out of bounds. I've been impressed with uh, Highland's ability to uh, uh, limit us to one shot down there. For the most part, uh, Minneapolis has not been controlling the offensive glass, and that's something in the previous games we've we've dominated on. So good job on the defensive end by Highland to, to keep Minneapolis off the glass. Well, I, I, I've noticed, yeah, our rebounding has been pretty good, our defensive rebounding, but uh, it seems like we've got a lid on the basket on the other end of the court, Kent. Just can't make those, uh, you know, 5'10 footers that uh, we normally make. Island called a timeout here with 11, or excuse me, about three minutes to go here in the third quarter. S excuse me, second quarter. Your score, Highland 11, Mediapolis 25. And for those people in uh, Mediapolis, uh, this game will be uh, on MTC Technologies. Channel 10. I'm not exactly sure. You'll have to s check the schedule to see when it's going to be broadcast, but they uh, carry an awful lot of the games there. Murphy to inbounds the ball to Highland. Gets it to Hora. Three-point shot. It's going to be tipped and blocked, and we're going to have a foul. Looks like on number 30. That's going to be Lampy over the back. And there once again was, uh, was Hilliard creating some uh, defensive mayhem out there. She just barely got a finger on that ball, I think, and it came up short. 
Minneapolis breaks the press. Allie Massner has the ball, drives the baseline, now kicks back to Larson, puts up a jump shot from on the, off the baseline, and there's Hilliard with the rebound to Larson. Larson's in trouble, and we're going to have a foul call. That's going to be on Lampy. I believe that's going to be her third foul. And that'll be huge for... Yep, that's going to be three on Lampy. She's going to come out. Cheyenne Adamson for Ohio and on the court now for Lampy. So the bullets inbound. Right back into Larson. She missed the shot, gets her own rebound. Is now tied up, puts up another shot, no good. And the ball comes out to Highland. Kicked around down there by a bunch of girls and Highland comes up with it. Here's Cheyenne Adams from across half court. She's the point guard now that Lampy out. Bridget Murphy, or excuse me, Katie Springer lets a three-pointer fly. And there's a scramble for it, and Mediapolis comes up with it. That was Larson got down uh, on the floor and was able to come up with that ball. Bullets have the bell. Allie Messner back to Larson outside. She puts up a three, no good. Now we don't see that very often out of her. That rebound, she puts up by, a long one. rebound by Hora up to Klebe. Lucky to catch that one. Cheyenne Adamson up top. Hora is going to try and drive the middle, kicks it back out to Klebe. About a 15-footer, no good. Rebound there by Mediapolis. So you're to head to Darby Master, and she gets the breakout layup. And Mediapolis breaks a pretty long string here without scoring. 11 to 27 with two minutes to go here in the second quarter. Highland down by 16 at the moment. Adamson on the roll. Nice left up, a little strong, and now we're going to have it tied up. A jump ball, and uh, looks like a possession arrow favors the Bullets. See Hedges is coming back in, and Larson's going to sit down. She's got two fouls, and I'm sure Coach Rogers would like to get through this last 159 without her getting another foul, so she's going to take a seat. Bridget Murphy in now for Highland. Murphy, Springer, Adamson, Hora, and Dutton in for the Huskies. Rogers back to Hilliard, feeds inside, and whirling and going in there is Ali Master. A nice strong move to the basket. Nice strong pass and a nice move. Here is Adamson's pass, clear up court baseline to Kelsey Hora. Back out top to Katie Springer. She's going to let one fly. It's going to go strong off the left iron and out of bounds to Minneapolis. Bert, I'll just tell you, Ali Master uh, come off the bench there, made that nice strong move. She might be the most improved player on the team this year. She has really played well in that sixth person role and uh, has really done a good job. I like her footwork down low. She gets that ball and takes that one little drop step and she's right at the basket. She squares up nice to it and lets it go. Almost a travel there. Yep, they are yeah. going to call it a travel. It was a pretty big, pretty big one step, wasn't pretty it? Pretty big first step, wasn't it? <laughs> Adamson crosses half court. Lampy out with three fouls, so Adamson is going to be your point guard for Highland Knight. Down to Murphy, spins and loses a ball. Dutton up with it. Here's a shot by Hora. A 15-footer, she misses it. Murphy back with a rebound up to Sam Dutton, and she puts it in for two. Good job on the glass there by Highland. Minneapolis working against that pressure. Eberhardt to Allie Massner. Long pass is thrown out of bounds, and that's going to be a turnover on the Bullets. 50 seconds to go here. Minneapolis leads 29-13. 50 seconds in the half. Adamson brings it across half court. Top of the key, sets up the offense, dribbles to her left, dishes over to Hora, back to her left. And we have a reach foul there by Minneapolis. It's on uh, Eberhardt, I believe. Abby Eberhardt picks up her first foul. Mediapolis has seven fouls. Highland has four. Highland will be in the one and one from here on out. Hora's first shot up, no good. And we're gonna have a reach over the back by Springer. Good rebound there by Allie Messner. Good block off and caused the foul. Yep, she had position. Here comes, here comes the pressure again. Mackenzie Rogers over to Darby Masner, and she makes an ill-advised pass down to her sister, and it's picked off. Here's Katie Horror coming all the way down court, down low to Springer, and it's going to be blocked there by number 33 of Minneapolis. That's uh, Hilliard again, made the block and grabbed the ball. And there's a long three up and good, and, and a foul. 
Allie Master drained the three and they've called a foul. This has got a chance to be a four point play, I believe. 13 to 32 with 15.3 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Mediapolis all over the Highland girls tonight. Allie misses the free throw. We have a lane violation. Lane violation, so it wouldn't have mattered. Springer's going to inbound the ball to number 10, Adamson. No pressure by the Bullets, as they don't need to right now. Down low is Springer. Nice pass by Adamson. Murphy trying to get the steal, can't do it. They go across court and turn the ball over to Kelsey Hora. And she's going to let one fly, and it's not going to count. So the first half ends with Minneapolis enjoying a 32 to 15 lead here. We're at Highland. It's Ken Harshbarger with Bert. The second half, your score Highland 32, or excuse me, Mediapolis 32, Highland 15. You're listening to the Husky cast with Ryan and the dog cast with Kent. And it looks like uh, it's going to be Highland basketball. So they had the possession arrow here to start the third quarter. Lampy. Springer in now for Highland. Adamson, Dutton. And Murphy on the court for Highland. Swing pass all the way around over to Adamson. She drives down low baseline, kicks it back out to Springer. Little 14-footer air ball then picked up there by Mediapolis. And we're going to have a foul, quick foul by number 30, Lampy, and that's going to be her fourth. Wow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's about the worst thing you could hope to have happen here. And it was, uh, you know, a long ways from the basket when that occurred. But... Minneapolis will inbound the ball, so Lampy has to take his seat. That brings number 20, Brianna Davis, in for Highland. Rogers has the ball out to Hedges, tries to make the pass inside to Larson, but it's picked off there. Picked off by Springer. And then a double dribble call. Just so lost a handle on it. That was a really good reaction uh, defensively there as uh, Hedges tried to get that ball into Larson, and they've done a good job of stopping that tonight. Rogers has it. Now she tries to pass it inside to Larson, and it's a turnover, but uh, Highland uh, does us a favor and turns it right back over. That's Murphy again. Picked up her dribble. They're going to call her for traveling. Trying to get a pass there to Adamson, streaking down the court. That's one thing that Highland does is they like to – Push the ball up with that half court, or excuse me, with that full court. Hedges has the ball. Back to Rogers. She's got the open look for three, but it won't go. And the long rebound comes out to Highland. Here's Murphy to Adamson again. She's going to throw a wild one up, and it's going to be picked up there by number 20, Brianna Davis, and she drops it in for two. Your score, 32 to 17 in favor of the Bullets. Hilliard has the ball, gets it to Larson at the high post. She tries to go to the hole with it. And we're going to have a foul call. That's going to be Highland. on Springer. It looks like it uh, was uh, before the shot, so Mediapolis will inbound the ball into the basket. Gonna, Dar Darby Master to inbound. They're going to call that on Dutton, her first. First team foul for Highland. Hilliard back out to Hedges. Back in the corner to Hilliard, fakes the drive, now does drive down on the baseline, cross-court pass to Darby Master, back to McKenzie Rogers. Out to Darby Master, goes inside to Larson, and she is quickly triple teamed. And we're gonna have a jump ball called. Good so, hustle there by Highland. They are really collapsing well. They are, they're not giving Larson anything inside tonight as they've decided to take that away and have done a good job of it. Master in the corner, now goes into Larson. Takes the turnaround jump shot, comes up short, but Master gets the rebound up and falls in. Darby Master on an offensive rebound to score. With Lampy out, Adamson brings the ball across half court, down low to Dutton, and hits Springer for a nice little two pointer. 19 to 34, your score. 6 11 left here in the third quarter. 
Out on the point is Rogers over to Hedges. She hits Hilliard, who dumps down to Masner, who's wide open. Springer just lost track of her person who she was supposed to be guarding and uh, just let Mediapolis have a little easy one down below. There's a pass to Springer. Baseline long, picked up by Davis. Shot back up. That's going to be an air ball. Hilliard comes out with the rebound and on the break. Kicks it back to Larson for the three. And no good. And, uh, she's put up a couple threes tonight, and I haven't seen that out of her all year long. So it might be that they're trying to add something to her arsenal here. But that one went out of bounds. It belongs to Highland. Adamson out. Klebe in for Highland. As she brings the ball across half court, the big red and black H she crosses. Dribbles over to her left, and she picks it up and dribbles again. They're going to call her for a double dribble. Turnover by Highland. Hey, Mackenzie Rogers was out there for the bullets, putting some pressure on and probably contributed to that turnover. Rogers, of course, is leading the team in steals, I believe, still this year for Minneapolis and has done a really good job there. Hedges drives the baseline, has the ball ripped out of her hands, goes out of bounds, and it's going to stay with the Bullets. Good defense there by Stringer. Master the inbound for the Bullets. Throws into the corner to Rogers, open for the three, pumps it up, no good. Up for the rebound is Hilliard. Back out to Larson, we're going to reset back to Rogers. Getting instructions from her coach and dad, Todd Rogers, over there on the bench. Now goes into the corner to Masner, who's open for the three, and this one won't go. But it's batted out to uh, Masner again by Hilliard. Good save goes inside to Larson, and she gets this one to fall on a turnaround. Had three people around her, still was able to get the ball to go in the basket. Yeah, good strong move there. And here's Murphy. She's going to lose the ball off her knee, and Mediapolis is going to pick it up. Seems like you're doing all the talking here, Kent. <laughs> There's a shot that's no good by Masner, but Hilliard rebounds and puts it in. Highland just out of position there on the defensive end of the board. Here's Klebe across half court. Over to Murphy, back to Springer, down low to Dutton, outside to Murphy. She's going to let a two-pointer go at about 18 feet. No good, rebounded by Mediapolis. Larson with that rebound, out to McKenzie Rogers. Throws it to Hilliard, who saves it from going out of bounds. Back out to Rogers. Drives to the hoop, puts it up short, saved by Hilliard. Darby Master tried to drive with that ball. And we're going to have a jump ball call, and I believe that will go to Highland. One hand on the ball, and they're going to call that one a jump ball. Springer out, and Murphy out. And Allie Masner replaces Rogers for the Bullets. Adamson, Klebe, Kelsey Craig, Lampy, and Davis in for Highland. Lam or excuse me, Davis with a long three-pointer, goes off the iron hard, and here's a rebound and a fast break by Mediapolis. Allie Masner to the basket, is gonna draw the foul. Good job by Brianna Davis hustling down court, but just couldn't get her feet set to draw the charge. She's going to be called for the foul. That's going to be her first, team second. Ellie Messner will shoot two here for the Bullets. First one is up and settles in. Eberhardt into the lineup. Replaces Darby Master. Second one also falls in. Adamson to bring the ball up. She crosses half court for Highland. Feeling a little pressure there by Mediapolis. Dribbles the ball off her foot. Picked up by Kelsey Craig. Now they're going to call a jump ball. Abby Eberhardt out there uh, pressuring the ball, and uh, the ball went loose on the floor, and uh, Highland player and uh, Hilliard on the floor, and that jump ball is called, so Minneapolis has the arrow this time. 19 to 42, your score with 328 here to go in the third quarter. The lack of Lampy on the court is showing for Highland. Cross court pass from Hilliard to Eberhardt. She dies a scoop shot, no good, and Highland comes out with the rebound. Clady moving up court to her left, drives around to the corner, back up top to Adamson. She's going to set the offense up. 
back up top to Cleavy, and it's going to be picked off there by Mediapolis. Hilliard with the steal. Hedges on the drive, kicks it out to Eberhardt, now to Allie Massner. Fakes the shot, comes back out to Hilliard, inside to Larson, puts it up no good. Rebound by Davis. Adamson crosses half court. Sets up the offense, drives to her left. Almost stolen there by Mediapolis over to Brianna Davis. Back up top to Adamson, now down low, and that's going to be tipped away by Mediapolis. Allie Messner got a hand on that ball, knocked it out of bounds as Highland tried to make the pass down to the corner. Murphy in now for Cheyenne Adamson. Craig Davis Dutton. Cleavy and Murphy on the court for the Huskies. Rogers and Darby Messner return for the Bullets. Trying to get it down low to Dutton. And we're gonna have a foul. Looks like that's on Eberhardt, would be her second. Springer now in for Davis. Springer to throw the ball in. Here's their patented out of bounds play and it's picked off by Mediapolis. Darby Messner with the steal. Attempted feed inside to Hilliard is picked up by Highland. That was Springer. Pass ahead up to Cleavy to Craig, and Craig's going to come down with it. They're going to call a holding call here on Mediapolis. And that foul was on Darby Master. That's her first. Springer to toss the ball into Craig. Right in the middle of the lane. They're off to down your score, 21 to 42. Here's Mediapolis the other way, and they're going to have a fast break, score, foul, and a chance for a three-point play. Darby Messner on the break out there, scored and was fouled and go to the free throw line. And I'll probably jinx her, but she shoots about close to 90% from the free throw line and has over the last two years. And sure enough, the ball goes out, but oh. <laughs> gets the rebound and puts it back in. <laughs> it never fails if I talk about how good a free throw shooter is. That's the one time she misses. Yeah. You wouldn't be very good if you sat to a guy that was pitching a no no hitter. You would probably go over there and talk to him and pat him on his back and say yeah, how good I, job he's doing. Yeah, I'd tell everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm tempted to say, oh, she's a lousy free throw shooter and see if... Uh, and reporting back in for the Bullets now is uh, Hedges and Larson as Highland gets right inbound. Here's the inbound pass now from Highland. Springer inbound to Dutton. Tries to bank it, misses it. Picked up there by Mediapolis. Larson with the rebound. It's off to Hedges at the point. Into the corner to Alley Master. Drives the baseline, now feeds inside to Larson. No good. Rebound there by Kelsey Craig. Dutton and Craig both had position. Good job on the defensive end of the boards. Cleavy crosses half court, dribbles to her right, down in the corner. Now tries to get it down low to Dutton and stolen away by Mediapolis. Hedges on the steal. Bullets leading 46-21 with 118 left in the third quarter. Long three up by Darby Masner is going to go out of bounds and will belong to the Huskies. Springer will inbound the ball to Cleavy as Cheyenne Adamson gets set to come in. She's going to come in for Craig as the crowd gives her a hand. Cleavy with the ball crosses half court, sets up the offense, dribbles to her left, and passes over to Murphy. Dutton working hard down low. Now they try to feed Dutton down low, picked up there by Adamson. Back over to her left, back down low to Dutton. And she misses the bunny at about two foot. Larson on the rebound, but yeah, that was a, that, I'd already started to write that one down. Mackenzie Rogers puts up the three, that's no good. Rebounded by Cleavy. They're gonna cut her off at half court, show a little bit of pressure. Now over to Murph, or excuse me, Springer. And she's gonna be fouled hard there by number 11 of Mediapolis. Hedges on the foul, and I think that's three on her, so. She may come out of the game here. Sure enough, she did. Hilliard's coming back in. Don't want her to pick up that fourth foul with, in this last 38 seconds of the third quarter.
Springer inbounds to Klebe, top of the key. Throws to her right. That's Adamson down low to Dutton. Looks for somewhere to go back up top to Klebe. Here's Murphy with a long three. Rebounded Mass by Mediapolis. Master on the rebound. Outlets quickly to Rogers, but too long, and the ball's going to go back over to Highland. Just off her fingertips, Kent. I don't think she would have had a shot anyway. No, it was, uh, the, whole, the whole pass was just a little too long, but... Uh, uh, they're they're pretty aggressive. There's they usually don't hold the ball. So Highland with the ball, Klebe top of the key over to Murphy swings it down low to Springer, back up top to Klebe. Over to Springer. Excuse me, that's Murphy. I'm not sure if that was a pass or a shot, but whatever it was, the quarter is over. <laughs> 46-21, your score at the end of three. Highland is down by 25 points. Quick second here. I'm just going to read down my list of sponsors here for the Husky Cast, Todd on Construction, McCready Roof Construction, Kruger Auto Sales, Eastern Iowa Geothermal, Riverside Travel Mart, Farmers Co-op, Larry Yoder Masonry, Streb Construction, Highland Boosters, Stronsky Concrete, Riverside Feed and Grain, Hedge Above, Madsen Masonry, Vision Agronomy, MMS Consultants, Buds Custom Meats, People's Trust and Savings Bank, and Stump Construction. Thank you once again to all of our sponsors. We appreciate all you do so that all of our listeners can have the chance to listen to the Husky Cast with Bert and Kent tonight as we are here at Highland High School as the Highland girls are down by 25 to the Mediapolis Bullets. Your score 46 to 21 as we get set for the fourth quarter. Highland will have the ball as Cheyenne, Cheyenne Adamson throws the ball back into Lampy, who has four fouls, so she has to be very careful. The dribbles to her right down low to Brianna Davis. And we're going to have a reach in foul here by Mediapolis. Mackenzie Rogers over there, a little too aggressive, came in from uh, behind and uh, thought she could steal the ball, but got a piece of the arm. That's the uh, fifth team foul on the Bullets. Back over to Murphy, down down low to Lampy to Brianna Davis. She's going to have the shot blocked. Murphy's going to throw one up, and it's going to be picked up there by Mediapolis. Cleared with the block and the rebound, and here comes Hedges to the basket. Can't get the shot to drop. And she's going to be whistled for the foul as she went aggressively uh, after the ball, but it was already secured. I think that was Samantha Dutton that had the ball. So that's foul number six now, and Hedges has foul number four, and she's going to take a seat. She's replaced by Allie Master. Lampy crossed half court, throws over to Adamson to her right, back down low to Lampy. Or excuse me, that's Dutton back out. Here's Murphy to Lampy, drives down low. And a foul there by Mediapolis. That's number 33. Hilliard picks up the foul. The baseline drive. That's just her second. But that's foul number seven on the bullets. So one and one from this point on for Highland. Lampy misses her first free throw. Highland comes out of there with the rebound. Lampy over on the right hand key over to Adamson. Now they try to go down low, and that's going to be picked off by the long arms of Mediapolis. Heidi Hilliard, another steal. About turns it over, but now gets it to Larson, who puts the shot up and in. That was a tough shot there. Highland across court to Murphy, top of the key, back to Lampy. Here's a shot by Cheyenne Adamson. Way long air ball. Fast outbreak now by Mediapolis. Kenzie Rogers can't score with it, but Larson gets the rebound, puts it up and in. Good hustle there by Andrea Larson to follow that shot up. Hilliard with the rebound and a long outlet pass. Lampy back the other way, and she's going to be fouled by Larson. It's three on Larson with 6.21 left here in the fourth period. Mediapolis leading 50 to 21. Lampy's first shot up, and she hits nothing but the bottom of the net. 22-50, your score. 
in favor of Minneapolis. Springer and Cleavy come in now for Murphy and Adamson. Lampy with her second shot. This shot is up and rolls around and drops down 23 to 50. Highland down by 27, showing a little bit of pressure here now. Hedges has returned to the lineup with four fouls for the Bullets. Cleared, passes the ball over to Hedges, gets it back at the high post. Now to Rogers, she backs it out. Goes into the corner to Hedges. Cross court to Darby Master under the basket. She drives in and is going to draw the foul. That was one of those plays there where you talk to kids about, you know, she didn't have a shot. <laughs> she was too far under and got bailed out with a foul. And I know from my coaching days, you can talk about it all you want to, but the, the urge is there to go up and swat that thing down. And since I didn't talk about Darby's free throw shooting, this time she makes it. Has a second one coming up. And that's good also. Very good concentration on the face of that young girl. She shoots her free throws. Highland down by a score of 52 to 23. Lampy dribbles a ball off her foot. Now they're going to call a jump ball. And I believe that's going to go over to the Bullets. I'm looking at the arrow there, and it's pointed in the Minneapolis direction. Speaking of concentration, Highland with just a little bit of lack of concentration there. Highland's going to put on a little bit of a half-court press here. Springer down low. And Hedges says the ball as they get it across the timeline and set up their offense in the corner to Hilliard. Looks inside to Larson, goes in there. Larson turns baseline, jumps up, can't get it to go. Rebounded by number 20, Brianna Davis. Here's the ball back to her. Little give and go to Lampy, And they're going to call her with a travel. Just picked up her pivot foot there. Yeah, she caught that pass just a little off balance and just couldn't, couldn't get squared up. So... Highland extending their pressure. Minneapolis brings it up. Hedges brings it across the timeline. Does a good job of splitting through the trap. Has the ball on the wing. Cross court to Darby Masner. She's going to drive the baseline and draw the foul. That's going to be number 20, Brianna Davis with the foul. That's going to be her second foul. 15 foul on Highland. Eighth foul for Minneapolis. Darby Masner to inbound. Goes out front to Rogers. She drives into the lane. Now kicks off to Hilliard. Puts up the long two. No good. Ball comes down and is rebounded by Highland. Brianna Davis with the rebound. Now cross court to Lampy. Backs off. Top of the key. Sets the offense. A little pressure there by Mediapolis. She picks up her dribble. It goes down low to Dutton. A little give and go. A 15-footer there by Lampy. No good. And rebounded by Mediapolis. Kenzie Rogers comes out of there on the dribble with it. Off to Hedges. She drives baseline. Now kicks back out to Hilliard. To Larson in the lane. Rebounded by Darby Masner. And we're going to have a timeout. Minneapolis with 437 left in the fourth quarter. Bullets leading over Highland 52-23. This is Kent bringing you the action here with Burt tonight on a simulcast between the Dogcast and the Husky Cast. Yes, absolute beautiful evening outside. I don't know if it's snowing or not. It was just beginning to show a few flakes as I drove in this evening to the Highland High School here south of Riverside. And uh, hopefully it holds off and everybody gets home safe tonight without any incidents. Yeah, I don't really want to spend the night. I'm enjoying the trip, but uh, <laughs> not my plan to spend the night. Well, I don't live too far from here. You can more than <laughs> you go. To spend the night if you have Maybe to. Maybe go down and join your friends down there somewhere. Yeah, they just emailed me again, so uh, let me know that they are listening. Cleared misses the shot, and Lampy gets the rebound and fires down the court. And we're going to have a turnover and travel down That's, there, so uh, we'll go back to Minneapolis. Highland not having a very good luck tonight with their fast break offense as Murphy turns the ball over with the travel. Highland showing pressure here. Rogers brings the ball across the timeline. Sets up the offense, comes off the screen by Hilliard, goes into the corner to Hedges. Long three is no good, but it's saved by Darby Masner. Now to Hilliard, to Larson, no good. And we're going to have a foul. I That's didn't good. catch you. That was on, but they're going to go shoot. So I know it's on Minneapolis. Number three. Three for Minneapolis is Darby Masner. That would be her second. Highland in the one and one. This is 
Springer at the line for Highland. Shooting the one in bonus. Her first shot up and good. 23, excuse me, 24 52. Springer with her second shot. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Springer. And Minneapolis back on the move. Larson all the way to the hole on the drive. Put it on the floor out from the free throw line and scores. Lampy up court to Murphy. She's going to dribble in. Lose the ball. Picked back up by Lampy. Cross court to Springer. He's going to drive in. Kick it back out to Adamson. Lampy back top of the key. Reset the offense here. Back over to Adamson on the left-hand side of the court. Cross court to Murphy. She's going to launch a three. No good. Rebounded by Mediapolis. Heard with another rebound. I don't know how many tonight, but uh, a lot. Massner has the ball in the corner, tries to feed to Larson, nearly stolen by Highland, but it goes out of bounds, so Massner will trigger from under the basket on the left side of the lane. Gets it out to Hedges in the corner, looks inside, nothing there. Cross court to Rogers, now to Darby Massner, back to Rogers out front as the bullets reset. Rogers. Launches the three and swishes it. Boy, that was a long three, and quickly she shot that ball. Little crossover dribble there. Here's Lampy down low. Left hand hook goes in for Highland. 27 to 57. Highland down by 30. Here was 256 to go in the fourth quarter. Nice little left-handed move there by Lampy on that score. Massner drives into the lane, dumps to here, gets it back. And we're going to have a three-second call on Darby Master. And a couple subs coming in for Minneapolis. On Just the like court. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Master and Larson leaving, and Allie Master and Eberhardt coming in. Lampy, Springer, Adamson, Dutton, and Murphy on the court for Highland. Down low to Springer, back across court to Dutton. Down low to Murphy, leaves it a little bit short. And Allie Master comes down with the rebound and bringing it up the court now is. It's over to Rogers. Now the kick ball there by Highland. Mediapolis is going to retain possession. So we have Allie Master, Hedges, Mackenzie Rogers, Heidi Hilliard. And Abby Everhart on the floor for Minneapolis. Glebe, Lampy, Dutton, Davis, and Springer on the court for Highland. Here's a long shot by Minneapolis. Rogers launches the three, but Everhart gets the rebound and draws the foul as the ball came directly off the rim right to Everhart. Not a very good job of boxing out down there by Highland. We had two girls on one, and the Minneapolis girl got possession or position. Everhart. Sinks this free throw, her first point of the evening. And now we have some other reserves coming in. Ashley oh. Mockholtz and Haley T. Wholesale changes for Minneapolis. And Eberhardt sinks the second free throw. Springer inbounds to Lampy as she crosses half court. Sets up the offense. Swings it left, back up top to Lampy. Over to Cleavy on the right wing. Back up top to Lampy. Minneapolis showing good pressure. Now they're going to swing it down low to Springer. And it's got to get a hand on it there. I believe that was number 43 of Minneapolis that got a hand on it. Yeah, good job there by um, Ashley Monkholtz. Another tall one. Yeah, and she's, um, she's picked up some more playing time as the season's gone on here and has really improved. And somebody that uh, I'm sure they're counting on next year for sure, and as we go through the season this year, and there's a near steal on the inbounds pass by Eberhardt, but Highland retains possession. Here is Lampy across half court, swings right right to Cleavy. Then Lampy's going to take a nice 15-footer at the elbow on the right-hand side of the key and makes it. 29-59, your score here at Highland. One minute and 24 seconds left here in the third, fourth quarter. 
And there's a turnover off of Eberhardt's hand. Uh, just took her eyes off of her just a second, didn't she? She sure did. And when you do that, you usually bobble it. Uh, we got uh, Lillian Johnson into the ball game now for Minneapolis, number 31. Lampy crosses half court, drives right down the middle lane. Little scoop pass to Davis. And she's going to go to the line. Foul is called on Eberhardt. That's her fourth. Excuse me, that was Cheyenne Neal, and she makes her first shot. 30-59 here at Highland High School with the Husky cast and dogs, dog cast with Bert and Kent as Cheyenne Neal gets set to make her second shot. And that's back hard off the iron. Gets her own rebound. She's going to lose the ball and go out of bounds to Minneapolis. Good hustle there. Missed the shot, got her own rebound, and almost got a put back. So T brings the ball up for Minneapolis. Goes over to Eberhardt. In the corner to Allie Massner, into the post to Mockholtz. She's called for the travel. That's when she caught that ball, she had both feet moving. She didn't have it for very long, did she? No, she was uh, in a hurry to make that post move. She really was. She's trying to set up that drop step down there and uh, just shuffled both of them, and you can't do that. Here's Murphy with a bad pass. It's going to be picked up by Minneapolis. Eberhardt throws it ahead to T, and it's off her hands and out of bounds. Things getting a little sloppy here for both teams as we wind down here with 40 seconds left here in the first fourth quarter. Minneapolis all over the Highland girls by a score of 59 to 30. Now we go down low to Kelsey Craig. She does a nice little bounce pass to Cheyenne Neal. Air balls it and it goes off the hands of Kelsey Craig. So the bullets will inbound. Allie Messner to Haley T. Johnson, Eberhardt, and Mockholtz also on the floor for Minneapolis. Johnson puts up the three off the front of the rim, and it's rebounded by Highland. Rebound there by Cheyenne Neal. She gets it up court to Amy Schnebel, and she's going to take a little 15-footer. It's going to fall short and rebounded by Minneapolis. No Highland starters on the court right now. Allie Messner has the ball, and I think that probably is going to apply to Minneapolis as well, and there's a turnover, and as the starters leave the floor, the uh, Pace has slowed down and the turnovers have mounted. Schneblin, Adams, or excuse me, Schneblin, Klebe. Speaking of Klebe, she launches one at the end of uh, the fourth quarter. Wide right. So the Bullettes pick up win number seven on the season, stay undefeated at 7 0 with a 59 to 30 win at Highland. That uh, is way below the Bullets average uh, offensively as, as a Highland defense packed it back in against uh, Andrea Larson, did a good job on her.